Have you ever wondered what the Philippines will be like in 2040? Thinking about the future is like taking an interesting journey, imagining how things will change. It could be advancements in technology, improvements in education, the growth of different industries, or better roads and buildings. Picture the Philippines in 2040 and you will see a lot of possibilities. It makes you think how the country might change in terms of society, money and technology. What new things might come up? What problems might the Philippines face? And what good things might happen? It's like exploring the potential future of a country that's getting ready for a new time. By 2040, the Philippines is expected to reach 130 million people. To avoid overcrowding like in Metro Manila, the government plans to build 100 new cities. The United Nations predict that by 2050, two-thirds of the world's population will live in cities, and already 50% do in the Philippines. To manage this growth, the government is in favor of creating new development hubs outside Metro Manila. In 2040, the Philippines will be renamed to Mahalika to honor the country's ancient heritage, predating the Spanish and American occupations. The Mahalikans were a group of free warriors, much like the Tiwawa. They served their leader, the Dada, by providing military service without paying taxes. During wars, the Mahalikans had to supply their weapons and join the Dada in battles. In return, they received a share of the war spoils. In these distributions, one-fifth went to the leader and the remaining were divided among the participating Mahalikans who in turn shared with their warriors. Additionally, the Mahalikans might sometimes work on the Dato's lands and help with community projects and events. The Philippine economy is on the rise as an emerging market in the Asia Pacific. In 2023, its estimated value is 24 trillion pesos, ranking as the 34th largest in the world by nominal GDP. Health. In 2040, each person is expected to spend around 40,000 pesos on health, making up 10% of the country's total economic output. The budget set aside for healthcare in 2040 is 600 billion pesos. On average, people in the Philippines are anticipated to live around 80 years old in 2040, with males reaching 79 years and females reaching 74 years. Science and Technology In 2040, the Philippines is aiming to have the largest agricultural research systems in Asia. They're working on developing new varieties of crops like rice, coconuts, and bananas, led by organizations such as the Philippine Research Institute and the International Rice Research Institute. The Philippine Space Agency is maintaining the country's space program and aims to launch its second satellite by 2040, with plans for it to land on Mars. Many people in the Philippines use cell phones. Text messaging is a popular way to communicate, and it's estimated that by 2040, the country will be sending around 10 billion messages every day. The Philippines is shifting from relying on farming to focusing on services and manufacturing in its economy. It has seen significant growth, averaging around 6% annually since 2010, making it one of the fastest growing economies globally. The country is a founding member of various international organizations like the United Nations and ASEAN. Semiconductors, electronics, transport equipment, clothing, chemicals, copper, nickel, coconut oil, and fruits are the main things that the Philippines exports. It trades with countries like Japan, America, Singapore, South Korea, Germany, Taiwan, and Thailand. The Philippines is said to be part of the Tiger Cub economies, along with Indonesia, Malaysia, Vietnam, and Thailand. Even though the economy focuses more on farming, the Philippines became more industrialized. The service industry has grown significantly, and a lot of the industrial work involves putting together electronic and high-tech stuff, often done by foreign companies.
Agriculture In 2040, about 35% of Filipinos will still work in agriculture, contributing 9.5% to the total economy. This includes everything from small-scale farming to large commercial operations that focus on exporting goods. The Philippines is projected to become the world's third largest coconut producer and the biggest exporter of coconut products. It will also take the lead as the largest pineapple producer globally. By 2040, the Philippines will be the top rice producer worldwide, making up 4% of the global rice output. Rice is a crucial food source and is extensively grown in regions like Central Luzon, Western Visayas, and Cagayan Valley. The Philippines is anticipated to become the world's largest sugar producer. Currently, 17 provinces in 8 regions grow sugarcane. By 2040, 25 provinces are expected to join in sugarcane cultivation. Automotive and Aerospace the Philippines produces ABS used in cars by Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Volvo. Predictions suggest that car sales in the Philippines will hit 1 million units in 2040. More car brands are expected to join the Philippine market by 2040. In the aerospace industry, products are mainly made by export, including parts for Boeing and Airbus aircraft. The total export value of aerospace products from the Philippines is projected to reach $2 billion by 2040. Electronics Instruments plan in Baguio has been operating for 20 years and it's the largest producer of DSP chips in the world. Texas Instruments Baguio plan will produce all the chips used in Nokia cell phones and 90% of chips used in cell phones worldwide. Mining and Extraction The Philippines has abundant mineral and geothermal energy resources. By 2040, it plans to generate 3,000 megawatts of electricity from geothermal sources. More natural gas reserves found in the Visayas Islands will be utilized for power generation. The country's gold, nickel, copper, palladium deposits are expected to become the world's largest. Mineral exports from the Philippines are projected to reach $8 billion in 2040. The country aims to be the top global producer of nickel and the second largest producer of cobalt by that time. Offshoring and Outsourcing Call centers in the Philippines initially started by offering email response and management services and have become a major source of job. They handle various customer services like travel, tech support, education, customer care, finance, and online business support. The Philippines is a popular outsourcing destination because of lower operational and labor costs. Many people proficient in spoken English and a well-educated workforce. The business process outsourcing and call center industry significantly contribute to the Philippines' economic growth. In 2040, the Philippines is expected to lead the world in BPO creating 1 million jobs and generating total revenues of $2 million. Shipbuilding and Repair The Philippines is a major contributor to the world shipbuilding industry, hosting 118 registered shipyards in 2021, spread across Cebu, Batan, Navotas, and Batangas. By 2040, it's projected to become the second largest shipbuilding nation in the world. Tourism Tourism is an important sector for the Philippine economy. The travel and tourism industry will contribute 10% to the country's GDP in 2024. Coastal tourism, encompassing beach and diving activities, will constitute 25% of the Philippines' tourism revenue. Popular destinations among tourists include Boracay, Palawan, Cebu, and Sirgao. In 2040, the Philippines will be the second best tourist destination in the world, and it will receive 15 million tourists by 2040. Philippines Military The Volunteer Armed Forces of the Philippines, or AFP, is composed of three branches, the Philippine Air Force, the Philippine Army, and the Philippine Navy. The Philippines will have an estimated 70 million military manpower and 1 million total military personnel 
It will rank 15 out of 140 countries in terms of military strength in 2040. Development in the South China Sea The Philippines and Vietnam will reach an agreement in 2040 on the development of oil in the South China Sea. By 2040, the Philippines will conclude 200 oil and gas exploration and production contracts with various foreign companies. Offshore exploration activities in 2040 will increase the Philippines' oil reserves to be the second largest in the Asia-Pacific region. In 2040, the University of the Philippines aims to be the 200th best university globally. Next up is the Ateneo de Manila University, expected to be the second best at 200 second globally. De La Salle is expected to be in the 205th to 210th range globally. How do you envision the Philippines in 2040? 